So what you guys seeing is a Team Fortress 2, specifically the default settings that Team Fortress 2 recommends. And as by looking at this gameplay, you can tell that this gameplay is dookie. So there's a chance your game might look like this, and if it does, you probably scroll for countless of videos, and for some reason, all those videos are trash! So you somehow stumble upon this video, okay? Now if you did, leave a like and subscribe because I'm going to fix your game, okay? I'm going to single-handedly whip your game back into shape, okay? That was crazy. Maybe I, maybe, maybe I should cut that, hmm. The first thing we should do to optimize Team Fortress 2 properly is to force the game to use more of the GPU than it is to use the CPU. Now there's no physical way to put everything on the GPU concerning the fact this game is mainly a CPU based game. So to do that, what you gotta do is go to your windows, okay, go to your settings, and then once you get into your settings, you're going to find the graphics settings. And so if you're on Windows 11, you can search this up. Windows 10 is pretty much the same way as well. So you can just go to your graphics settings. And once you go down to your graphics settings, you're going to um, find the game, which the game should be labeled in hl2.exe. If you don't have this, there is a way you can browse this. If you don't have the game on this list, what you do is you click browse. And then what you do then is you go to program files x86 and scroll down until you see steam if i can find it yeah steam steam apps and then common and then team fortress 2 and your game should be there now mine's not there because i have mine on the ssd which is right here okay and you add it now mine's already added but once you have it added okay Go to your options and select high performance. Okay, when you select high performance, it's going to be using more of the GPU instead of the CPU instead. Okay, once you do that, you can exit that out and then you want to go to your search browser and you want to type in a website called Master Config or press the link down below because I'll have all these links to the description so you guys can go ahead and easily access those. So once you're on Master Config, okay, what you do is you want to launch it and it's going to show you up this. Now, you've probably seen this if you ever watch every other optimizations guide, but they don't really explain how it's done. So, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how all of this is exactly possible or not possible, how it works. So, if you're on a high-end machine, okay, I recommend ultra high or medium high. But if you're on a medium end machine, okay, I recommend medium high, medium or medium low. But if you're on potato, you can do medium, low, low. And if you're very desperate, you can do very low. But again, I don't recommend very low because obviously it just looks, it doesn't even look like a game anymore at that point. So the lowest I would go is low. And once you select your preset, which I'm selecting medium low for this instance, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the official add-ons. Now, the ones I recommend is no canceling movement and disable pyro land. Man, because you're never going to use Pyro Land unless you have those Pyro Goggles that makes you access this area. Besides that, it's just a wasted space on your game. And No Canceling Movement, which as you can tell from No Canceling Movement, it says prevents you from pressing two opposite directions, which causes you to stop moving. Which honestly, it's really good, especially if you're a scout main. Once you've done that, you want to go down here and you want to click Download Master Config and then, yeah. It's going, it's going to download this file, and you're going to open up this file. And as you can tell, now you're going to have two folders once you open up that TF folder, which is CFG and Custom. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your TM Fortress 2 folder. Now, if you don't know how to do that, what you do is you go to your Steam, go to Team Fortress 2, and click this little gear icon, and then you want to go ahead and browse local file. Which is going to bring up this. Then go to TF. All you're going to do is drag these two into here what that's going to do is that that's actually going to take the files the cons that's in these files and put it into these game already now just by doing this by itself we actually optimize performance a lot but we can do a lot better and this is kind of what leads to our next step huds now there's a whole veil why the default hud sucks by this man and i'll admit though i pretty much agree that this hud this default hud sucks now, for folks who have no idea what a HUD is, a HUD is a simple 
thing that shows on your screen to display information like how much ammo you have, how much health you have, what character you're playing as, pretty much all this stuff right here. And when you're playing a game like Team Fortress 2, and just by looking at this HUD by itself, it kinda sucks. Now there's three websites you could use to actually get a HUD. The first one is Toon HUD. Now if you want to make your own HUD customizable to you, the HUD I use, I made it myself. Okay, it's based it's my HUD. It's a nice little blue HUD. If you guys want me to release this HUD, let's hit 400 subscribers and I will release this HUD to the public. Okay. The next website we're going to be looking at is HUDs.TF. Now, HUDs.TF has all sorts of HUDs. Some of the more famous ones like Raid's HUD. And why did it launch me a Discord? What the f- So, on HUDs.TF, you got all sorts of HUDs, okay? And most likely, you're going to find a HUD you want to find. Now, the last website we're going to be looking at, and this is like the god tier website for buying Team Fortress 2, Game Banana. Now, you can find all sorts of HUDs on here as well. Not as good as HUDs.TF have, but hey, it's always a good thing to look. They don't have many great HUDs as HUDs.TF do, but they have some pretty good ones if you look hard enough. So Now, to import a HUD, what you gotta do is go to the website you're trying to get the HUD from. So, in this case, I'm going to use um, HUDs.TF, for example. Grab a RAM HUD. So, I'm going to, let's go to the Space HUD theme right here. And you're going to click this Download, and you're going to get... It, Usually HUDs like this usually get put in zip files, and so all you gotta do is open up the zip file and drag it into your Team Fortress custom folder, which to get to that, you go to the Team Fortress 2 folder, TF, custom, and you're there. Drag the um, HUD folder right into the custom, and boom, your HUD's installed. Now, not only a custom HUD will make your game look nicer, it will also kind of increase performance a little bit too because it's just removing all the unnecessary stuff so all we gotta do now is work on the auto execute file i might be wondering what's an auto execute file an auto execute file is a file that will run a list of commands when you start the game every single time so this is actually really good for running a set of commands to perform your game to its fullest potential every single time you launch it up so to do that to get to that believe it or not master config kind of provides you one when you slap in this apps folder into here right here you open it up and you can throw a list of commands in here and it'll all work now there's a list of videos on a bunch of all execute files that you could use and some good commands but if you want to use mine i have mine linked down below for that as well okay now once you throw your list of commands in here or you know just steal it off me we're going to relaunch the game and I'm going to show you guys what results look like now. And here's gameplay for Team Fortress 2. Now, at the very beginning of the video, I was running 30 frames a second. Okay, and in this gameplay, I'm running pretty much double that, if not a lot more, from 30 to 60. And sometimes get 120, which is actually pretty solid. But there is still a lot of things we can do to make this game at least look better. Because, as you can tell, we ran low graphics while in the default saying that this game requires me on for some reason is the max things but we can still make the game look nicer and the way we're going to be doing this is with mods so the mods we're going to be looking at here today are going to be mods that are going to be enhancing the game in fact even make the game feel better than it originally did and the website we're going to be finding this on is actually kind of the same website where we're going to be finding for the some huds game banana now as you can tell right off the bat just by looking at this page alone there is so many mods you can pick from but for here i'm going to be leaving a link to all the mods that i'm going to be mentioning in this video so you guys can go ahead and just use this as well so you guys can you know steal my sh anyway so the first mod we're going to be looking at is animation mods what this mod does it actually changes the way how animations work in team fortress 2 so from shooting the gun to holding a team and reloading it it just overhauls the, the animations to the game making them feel nicer and feel so much better to use another mod we're going to be installing is particles okay and specifically custom particles what this does is that's going to replace the default particles in the game for more flashy ones and the one shown right here is tune muzzle flashes now you could use this one or you can use what i use link down below by the way but at the end of the day it really is just up to preference on what you guys want to use okay so if you follow every single step correctly you should get your game from 20 to 30 fps all the way up to around 60 to 120 if you follow every single step correctly 
and i hope this video does help you out as well to help you guys to at least get started into properly optimizing team fortress 2 but if this video did help you out leave a like on this video subscribe and anyways i'm trying to get to 400 subscribers gotta start somewhere and i'll see you guys next time